Albert Chador, a talented painter, printmaker, and writer. He was born in Germany in the city of Naumburg. Albert would be considered as a brilliant and well-known artist during the 15th and 16th centuries. He was also a person who was a Christian and a very religious person. He would help his father, who was a goldsmith. Working with his father as a goldsmith, he was able to learn the skill of drawing lines. Based on the skills that he learned as a goldsmith, he was able to become better at drawing. At the age of 13, he sketched a self-portrait of himself. That would inspire him to want to become a better artist. At the age of 15, he would become the apprentice and learn from Michael Wogmutt. Michael Wogmutt was a printmaker and book publisher. Under the teaching of Michael, he would learn how to paint as well as learn how to create wood carvings and copper engravings. Albert Chet was also a traveler and search for inspiration that will help him create all kinds of artwork. In his travel, he was also able to learn new skills. Some of his well-known works of art include the engraving of the night, death, and the devil. Saint Jerome in his study. Melancholia 1. In the city of Nuckenburg, Durer was known as one of the greatest artists. He was so popular that the city of Nuckenburg had built a statue to commemorate his death. During the 1500s, the residents of Nuremberg believed that the end of time was upon them, that it would be the beginning of plague, war, and the end of humanity. Albert Chat, the Apocalypse series, would come from the Book of Revelations. The Book of Revelations would tell and illustrate how the end of time would come according to what Albert Chat believed was to happen. This book would gain Albert Chat popularity in Europe. The prints that he would include in his book were believed to be religious and holy because of his Catholic beliefs. Some of the prints that would be illustrated in his book would be the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Saint Michael fighting the dragon. The opening of the fifth and sixth seals. And the four angels of death. The artwork that I chose to talk about is the engraving of the night death and the devil that can be seen in the Muse de Petit Palace in Paris. The Night, Death and the Devil is a 25 by 19.6 centimeter engraving. The focal point of this engraving would be the knight and his horse who can be seen in the center of the engraving. The knight is wearing armor from head to toe and is shown as someone who has courage and is brave with him looking forward and him holding a blade. The horse that the knight is riding on has his head up and is looking forward. Lines can be shown all over his engraving. To Durer, lines had to be perfect and precise. He used forms of hatching and shadowing throughout his artwork. The knight is followed by a dog who can be seen at the bottom of the engraving. The dog represents trustworthy and partnership, showing that the knight is not alone in his journey. Next to the knight you can notice Death who is also riding a horse. The horse that Death is riding on seems to be looking down at the ground. Death has a, a skull for a face, a beard, and a crown on top of his head. He has two snakes surrounding him, one near his crown and the other near his shoulder. He is holding an hourglass. 
as if death is reminding the night that the time he has left on earth can come to an end. The devil is walking behind the night as if he's stalking the night. He has a long snout and furry as a wolf and horns are coming out from behind his skull and a long horn on the top of his head. He is also holding a long blade. The double is a reminder that the knight shouldn't commit sin and that there is danger ahead. In the top of the engraving, far from a distance, you can notice the small town of Nalkenburg. The dead trees and dark rocks represent the precautions that the knight must take as if telling him beware of the path that he is taking. In the bottom on the left side of the engraving you can notice a tree stump with a skull on the top. This was a representation of Adam and Eve. On the side of the stump it's a signature of Albert Chet and a date that states 1513. A phrase that sums up what the engraving is about is I walk through the valley of the shadows. My inspiration for my artwork was Albert Chet Durer because of the time that he took in his artwork and the technique that he used as well. In my artwork, I chose to show my version of what the night, death, and the devil might look like in this current time. Instead of the night, I chose to draw a biker who is now riding a motorcycle. I believe that people who ride motorcycles tend to take risks while riding. I also choose to change the way and how the devil and death look like. The background instead of the city of Nalkenburg, I chose to, to draw the city of Chicago. In the bottom, I drew a dog with a skull as well. In a way, I tried to recreate his artwork by trying to recreate some of his characters he chose to illustrate in his engraving. 